some evolving skies. I got a booster box here and uh, we're gonna get on into it, you know? Got the evolutions, got a few uh, Rayquazas, some dope alternate arts that we'd like to pull. And um, yeah, shoot. I'm waiting on this set to come out for a while. The EV Heroes came out mm, quite a while ago for the Japanese set, which this is a mix of that and I think Skystream. Okay, I can't really get the box to do what I want it to do. There we go. There we go. We got 36 packs and without further ado, we're going to get into it. Might take a little, a little bit on some of these first some of these first packs to you know check it out see what we got going on uh, no card trick no nothing we're just gonna get straight into it got a Carvana a Glossifer a Fletchling Scraggy Hippopotamus an Appling uh, let me get this there we go shift tree and our first pack is nothing much. Uh, shopping center, what does this do? Uh, once during each player's turn, you may put a Pokemon tool back into the hand. I guess that could be good for recycling tools. I don't know who wants to recycle tools, but... I mean, actually it could be good. Then you can make yourself scrapper, tool scrapper proof, right? Pokemon scrapper. We got a Teddy Ursa. Man, I love the artwork on this one. Just chilling in the trees. A Marie Zara Aura Tentacool. We skip some. Hop hip, another tentacle. And we have a Sylveon V Max. Oh bruh. That's what's up. Check it out. Man, he looks all this is the fiercest Sylveon you've ever seen. Hey, not a bad way to start off the box. Got another shopping center. I'll throw this in a sleeve. Starting off our our EV hunt, you know, pretty good. Shoot, I don't mind this card at all. Since we pulled a Sylveon, let's go on to a Sylveon pack. Some of the cards I really want out of here would be, of course, the Umbreon. That's gonna be my gold card. That's cool. They got a Pikachu in here. Um, always cool to see that. There's no Charizard in here, but there's a Quasar, so that makes up for it. A Lit Leo. Herditor, and we have a Suicune V alternate. This is a, no, not alternate art, but a full art. Suicune V, this is pretty dope. Shoot. And it came with the water energy to attach it. This is actually one of the cards that I used for, uh, for the build and battle tournament. And it was good. It was my strongest, one of my strongest attackers and everybody was putting Flappies on their bench. So, man, this card looks actually really dope. Suicune's one of my favorite dogs. It's cool, actually, they put Suicune in here. They should have put a Raikou. A Raikou V. And an Entei V in here. But there is actually, I think, an Entei. Just a single strike Entei that actually shows up in this one, too. There we go. Three packs in. We got a couple hits. Can't complain. Uh, we got a Hopip. A Swabble, which goes good with the new Alteria. A Kroganol. This card is usually busted. Let's see what it does. Uh, look at the top six cards of your deck. Attach any number of basic energies you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Holy moly, Donut Shop. That could be pretty broken. A Petil, a Shift Tree, and an Umbreon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is actually one of the cards I really wanted too. Bruh, like, what's up? Are we just going to keep on pulling Heat Fire? Are we not? Are we already finished? Shoot. Oh, and it's single strike. This is so dope. Going with my Umbreon collection. One of my favorite Pokemon. See, we got Umbreon here. So, looks like our Umbreon bought us, brought us a little bit of luck. Or was it the Neko Cat? Shout out to, to the homie who, who hooked me up with the Neko Cat. Oh, this is so dope. This is one of the cards I really wanted. Shoot. I mean, wow. Uh... Let's continue with this this opening uninterrupted. We might have to go get a little montage going. There we go, green code. Now we're back to back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> a Lit Leo, a Chinchu, Dano, a Pumpkaboo. This is gonna be really good coming up soon here. Oh, and Articuno. <sighs> Reverse. That's super dope. I want to put this into my 
Shadow Rider Calyrex deck, so that's perfect that I pulled one. I actually needed one of these. Uh, when you play from your hand to your bench, you can actually attach up to two energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon, which is rather broken. Um, it's not once per turn, and you can basically like boost up your Calyrex V's uh, damage output with that. A Flapple and a couple of other cards. Dang, that's what's up. This opening, this has been, you know, it might be the end, but it's been dope so far. Shoot. It's like, we got hella packs. We're going to just keep on keeping on. A Fletchling. We got a Scraggy. Hippopotamus. A Thypo. A Litleo. A Regigeki. And a Wishy Wash. Wishy Washy Dive Ball. Or, sorry, Dream Ball. This card's pretty broken, too. Draw it as a prize, and you can put any Pokemon onto your bench from your deck, doesn't matter, stage one, stage two, V, V max, and pick something, and it's going straight to the bench, a Nicket, a Dwebble, we've got a lot of Nickets lately, a Ruffle, uh, that thing, a Wobbuffet, a Hersering, and an Alteria to go with the uh, Swabble that we pulled earlier, that Alteria is actually really broken because what it does is let you stack a supporter onto the top of your deck. Um, yeah, search your deck for a supporter and stack it. And with things like, I mean, at least from this set, with things like the stacking cups and what else is there? You could also use the Orangaroo, Orangaroo, Hitmonchan, shout out to Jackie Chan, Fletchling, to get whatever card you want. A Gigalith and a Talonflame. This Talonflame is actually rather annoying. Um, it does 80 plus another 80 if it has a fire attached to it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. It would be good in this format called Trash Deck Tuesday that we play in at my local card show. You know, y'all should check it out. Single prize Pokemon only. That's basically what it is. And it's actually a lot of fun. Nicket, another Nicket. A Bergamite. A Rogo 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 a Flappleby. A Didino and another Sylveon. Oh my gosh, a Sylveon uh, regular to go with our Sylveon VMAX. That's dope. Shout out to the homie. They were talking about how they love Sylveon. They thought Sylveon was one of the cooler Pokemon. And here we are pulling multiples of them, which I told them I'd give it to them. <laughs> told her I'd give them to her if, uh, if I pull any. And we're getting there, you know. I pulled the Umbreon for me and the Suicune, so that's actually rather rather nice we got a chinchu Daneo, another pump kaboo which we need a carvana a glossifleur a fletchalidder and a gardevoir v <laughs> there we go another hit i'll take it i'll take it any of the new v's shoot we're going in yeah i really want that umbreon reaching for the moon wow that card is just Amazing. Of course, I'll take any of the Rayquazas, just because I could probably trade those for any of the cards that I'd want. A Chinchu, a Petlet, a Dano, a Feebas, a Tentacruel, and an Eldegoss. This Eldegoss is busted, too. Um, what's crazy about this Eldegoss, as well as the um, Alteria, is that these aren't, like... For example, the Mewtwo that stacked a supporter back onto your deck. This is once per turn. So, like, once per turn, you can search your deck for up to two energy cards. Busted. Basic energy cards, of course, but... That is rather good, if you ask me. Um, and it's kind of cool that they're giving that to us competitive players. Uh, things that... That aren't just play it from your hand and use it. That are just, like, recurrable. This is one card that I wish I pulled during the battle build and battle tournament. Um, just so I could evolve my Flaffy. And so that they can be easily, easily targeted. Easily targeted down. Yeah, my eyes keep going over to that Umbreon over there. Sheesh. Um, we have a Emolga. This is busted too, free retreat. Can't beat that. A Glossifleur, a Feebas. Hippopotamus, a Ludzvik, and a Jumpluff. Man, we haven't pulled any of the supporters I've been looking for. Like, I haven't pulled one supporter yet. It's a little, a little disappointing. 
But you know what we did pull? We pulled the Umbreon V. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I like the Umbreon V kind of better than the Umbreon V Max. Okay, I'm lying if I say that. But um, but at least the artwork of it that we pulled, because it's just Umbreon in his full glory. Just the OG Umbreon I remember when I when I grind, when I was grinding so hard early, early in the morning and late at night so that I could level them up, took them, taking them to get so many haircuts. Only go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. There's goes the pump kaboo. It's funny because I'm actually playing so Oh, I needed this rescue carrier. Mmm, reverse rescue carrier. Add two Pokemon with 90 or less HP from a discard pile to your hand. You know what deck that is broken in is going to be Rapid Strike. That's a free 80 damage right there. Rapid Strike Malamar at least. Yeah. That's a card that I can't wait to uh, to throw in there. I need a few more of those, to tell you the truth. I only pulled one out of two pre release kits. We got Sableye. Wow, look at the Sableye. My guy's out here gathering all the gems. Are, are those Infinity Stones in the back? <laughs> oh, shout out to Loki. Bergamite. Another Sableye. Okay, since we were talking about it so much. And a Raichu. This Raichu is actually busted, too. It does. Big Spark for one energy is going to do 50 to each of my opponent's Pokemon V's or GX. GX are about to rotate, but geez. That with like the, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? With the Jolteon, actually, VMAX that recently came out of uh, the same set is actually getting pretty good together. Another Pump Kaboo, we'll put that over there. And I want another Reverse Pump Kaboo is what I need. I think that's what we're shooting for now. All right, I lost you guys there for a second. Welcome back. A little technical difficulties. Um, we got the camera rolling again. We didn't pull much out of the last pack, which is all right. Uh, Swabble, Lit Leo, a Wobbuffet. I need to read this Wobbuffet. Uh, put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Equal to the number of damage counters on one of your bench Pokemon. That could be rather rather busted in the right situation. What's this lucky ice pop do? Heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon if healed from this way. Flip a coin. Put this card back into your hand instead of the discard pile. Whoa. Whoa. You like, do you understand what that card says? And you don't, and you can play it more than once per turn. You could heal all the damage, theoretically. Like if you just get rolling a thousand heads, Raihan, yes, this is what I needed more of. These, this, plus the Zinnia's Resolve are kind of like tag team supporters without being tag team supporters. I mean, we got like text here and text there, two paragraphs. This card's busted though. I need some, I just need a couple more of those. That gives me three, actually. Raihaning into a Raihan is rather busted. Dwebble, Mareep, I can't believe I haven't pulled any Flappy yet. Ooh, Marshadow. <laughs> I like this. I'm, Marshadow's grown on me too for some reason. I really like Marshadow and Victini. There's a Victini in here that's really cool. Yeah, but for some reason I started to like Victini a lot. But yeah. I wonder what else we this box has in store for us. We've already done pretty darn well so far. Um, two... Full hearts, and we have a Glaceon V. This is full of evolutions. Jeez, this one looks dope too, with all the the ice, all the ice. What ice stars in the back? Or are they just snowflakes? And I'm just being a little extra. I think so. <laughs> Nonetheless, a beautiful card in its own right. A lot of these V's, I don't really like the. What is this called? The way that they digitize the the drawings on here. But this one actually looks kind of cool. I like hand-drawn. I like the hand-drawn art. That's a lot more fun for moi. But uh, let me know what you guys like down in the comment section below. Do you like it when it's hand-drawn like this? Or when they have the digitized art like what's on most of the Vs, most of our Vs. Uh, ooh, the Eevee, the infamous Eevee with Rayquaza in it. The one that everybody said, oh, because this is in here. Evolution. Ooh, another Flaffy. Hey, hey, we got a Flaffy. Hey, this goes with the replacement deck. 
Everybody thought that that Eevee was the telltale sign that we were gonna get, that Evolving Skies was gonna have all the Eevees. And I mean, I don't understand why people didn't think from the, just from the name of the set, Evolving Skies, like what Pokemon evolves the most? And then who's the king of the skies? Like, I'm pretty sure it's pretty self-explanatory there. Beldor. Ooh, you guys got a code there. I will not be showing the codes because I'm trying to give me some of these cards online, baby. We've been playing online, playing in some tournaments, which is rather fun. If you haven't done that before, you might want to check it out. Face guard helmet and a Glaceon V Max to go with our Glaceon. And we got Stormy Mountains. But sheesh. Here we go. We got a we got a Sylveon V and a Sylveon V Max. We got a Glaceon V and a Glaceon V Max. This Glaceon V Max is actually pretty good. It has the Dauntless Shield, pretty much attack um, ability, prevent all damage, all damage done to this Pokemon from your opponent's V Max, except Glaceon V Max. So the mirror match is kind of oof, but yeah, it's kind of cool. We got a nice little host of hits here. Quite the set of evolutions i will take some more galarian birds i need a mole tracer too is what i need and then i also need some more one or two more um galarian articunos would be nice trampa the grandpa we got enough switching cups um yeah. i don't know what else i mean shoot what else can you really ask for? You got some really cool cards that we were looking for. Teddy Ursa and Ampharos. Another Flappy. Although I have a playset that's good to put as trade fodder. If you do play the game, ooh, this Teddy Ursa. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure to take your staples out of your bulk. Even if it's a trainer card that you don't think you're going to use, throwing it into your staples binder. Not a bad idea. If anybody wants to see my staples binder, let me know. If I get one comment requesting it, it's definitely one that I will be showcasing here on the channel. Ooh, copycat. <laughs> I love this copycat. Just because of all the different... We got Marnie, Rose. I don't know. That's uh, Poke Kid, I think. No, it's not Poke Kid. Anyways, we got Leon in the back. Copycat can be whoever you want them to be. This pack fell over. I don't know if I should save it for later or if it was a sign that I need to open it now. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to get into it. Feebas, Hippopotamus, Boop, Nicket, a Jump Luff, Sharpedo, and. A couple more packs left. So it looks like we got like five or six left. Hopefully we can get us a full art, alternate art, pick one, full art trainer, little pup, a Nuzleaf, and a Drampa the Grandpa. Treasure energy. What does this one do again as long as it's attached? If you took this as a face down price card, so that's the price card one. Too bad it was like, if it was like treated as a, any energy you wanted to, or rather interesting for the card game but I really don't know if the whole Peonia manipulate your prize cards Ooh, a Stormy Mountain Reverse and a Schmeagle a Schmeargle I'll take that Stormy Mountain you know people are going to be after that down to our last five bags um, like I said we're looking for the Umbreon I'll take a Rayquaza. Rubber gloves. Oh my goodness. We did not just pull a dark energy. A gold one. <laughs> Woo. Dang. This thing is pretty nice. I wonder what I could put this in. <laughs> Shoot. Or who's going to be looking for one of those? Wow, this is really nice. I wonder what other... I forgot what other energies come in this one. I think lightning... I don't know if they've come out. I don't know if the fire energy has been released yet, but jeez. Hey, we'll take it. Dark energy to go with our Umbreon. Okay, now look. If they can give us a dark energy. 
If they can give us that dark energy, I'm sure they can give us the Umbreon VMAX as well, you know? I'm sure they don't, they're not, they're not looking to disappoint us, are they? A Regarola, a Wobbuffet, a Hoppip, a Swabble, a Reverse Copycat, and we have another Glaring Articuno. I am not mad at that at all. This is a card that is definitely, like I said, uh, this will be going into, into my Shadow Rider deck. Um, and this reverse copycat. Uh, it's cool because I picked up an e-reader copycat and on there it tells you to, um, <laughs> it says, uh, put this next to your Pokemon so that you don't forget that you played a supporter this turn pretty much. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Marie, a Wobbuffet, a Love Disc, a Dweeble, a Kroganol, and an Altheria. Ooh, we got another rescue carrier though, we need that. Crystal Cave, what does this do? Everybody's so happy about that. Once per turn, during either this player turn, or once per each player's turn, that player may heal 30 damage from their Steel or Dragon Pokemon. I mean, at this point, we just need stadiums to combat uh, Path to the Peak. That card is rather annoying. Down to the last two packs, we got a Kroganol. A Puito, a Drowsy, a Victini. This is the Victini I was talking about. Um, yeah, it's rather broken. It just let you search for two cards, but for two colorless energy. It was cool. It'd be dope if it was a Rapid Strike Pokemon. But I love Victini, so that's going in there. All right, last pack, Magic. Evolving Skies. What you got for us? Last booster box. Booster box of the night. And we're gonna have a Hippopotamus, a Zorora, a Psyduck, which this, this artwork is amazing. A Rufflet. We have a Drowsy. And for reverse, we have a Thweevil. And our last card of the night is gonna be a Sharpedo, which is cool, because I was at the zoo today. Wow, we only pulled one Raihan. But I cannot complain, because Looking through the cards that I'm excited about us pulling, we have the Gold Dark Energy, uh, Stormy Mountain, a couple Pump Caboos, we have this Glaceon VMAX, pretty dope, pretty dope, a Flaffy, a Glaceon V to go with our Glaceon VMAX, Raihan, a Rescue Carrier, a Gardevoir, uh, we have this Sylveon V going straight to my friend. Um, Galarian Articuno, and then this is what I'm most excited about. Look at this Umbreon. I mean, look at this. This thing is just like... And that's one of the moves that I always deleted whenever I had an Umbreon. Mean Look. We was we never kept Mean Look as, a, as an attack. <laughs> and then we got the Suicune. Another card I think looks amazing. And the Sylveon VMAX. Hey, thanks everybody for showing up, showing out. We pulled my, my favorite favorite dark Pokemon. Uh, no offense to Houndoom, Houndoom because it's dark and fire. But hey, until next time, keep on collecting and thanks for watching. Peace.